YouTube, YouTube, Daily Output on Dre Day. And got an article coming from Daily Mail. And some more of the Bang Game with politicians. The title of the article is Chicago's Woke Mayor Brandon Johnson Blames His Predecessors. Predecessor, Lori Lightfoot, and right wing extremists for Windy City's decline amid crime and migrant crisis. Chicago's Mayor Brandon Johnson claims he inherited the city's spiraling migrant crisis and lashed, it, lashed out at Lori Lightfoot's former administration. Johnson criticized Lightfoot's administration at a press conference on Tuesday held to announce the Unity Initiative and interfaith partnership amid aimed at bringing sleeping migrants out of the police stations and into shelters. Johnson told reporters that the international crisis that I inherited six months ago, I've made it very clear we're going to move people out of the police districts, women and children who are living on floors and sleeping outside, that we're going to create spaces that provide more dignity when the city has come under a strain after the city was inu inundated by 20,000 migrants over the last 14 months during the crisis, many were bused north from the southern border, which has been overwhelmed by migrants crossing from Mexico. In Chicago, thousands of asylum seekers are staying at police stations and airports as local government has run out of space to house them. Ew, Beetlejuice. <laughs> did you know when I was sworn in in May, the previous city council did not budget for 2023's migrant mission? The controversial mayor told the press, so not only have we stood up full force of government in a collaborative way, we did it without the previous city council even providing resources for it. Lightfoot was heavily criticized for her time in office four years, dominated by a soaring crime, war with teachers, unions, and Pollock and PLLIC Pollock, and battles with the city council. On her watch, crime rose 42%, and the city's police complained about staff shortages and low morale. In May 2021, the Chicago Fraternal Order. The police issued a symbolic vote of no confidence against Lightfoot. Mayor Johnson also blamed the far right for Chicago's ills during Tuesday's press conference. What have we seen is a very raggedy form of white right wing extremism. The woke mayor said, <clears throat> "Everyone knows that the right wing extremism is this country, and this country has targeted democratically run cities, and quite frankly." They have been quite intentional about going after democratically ran cities that are led by people of color. Their intentions is to create division and chaos because that is what the particular political party has been all about. It is the same party that wouldn't accept that President Obama was actually an American. It's the same Republican right wing extremism that stormed the Capitol. It's the same right-wing extremism that refuses to accept the results of the Civil War. It's raggedy, it's disrespectful, it's mean-spirited. It is abysmal, and it is a front for everything that is good about this country, for the extremism in this country to use people as political tools to settle political scores for something that happened over 400 years ago. I'm still mad that a black man is free in this country. He added, aren't you glad the soul of Chicago isn't broken? Those are the words of Beyonce. You won't break our soul. Tensions in Chicago have, tensions have risen in Chicago as local authorities have failed to tackle the migrant crisis. Recently, furious protesters stormed a Chicago City Council meeting during a debate about whether the city should remain a sanctuary for migrants. Residents, mostly African Americans, flooded the gallery with some waving signs saying, The rent is too damn high and bring Chicago home. The meeting was called after 9th Ward Alderman Anthony Beale, who oversees a district in the predominantly black south side, 
propose an advisory re referendum that would ask voters during the march primarily if Chicago should keep its sanctuary status. Many residents expressed frustrations about the millions of dollars the city was spending on migrant shelters instead of poor communities. As of September, there were about 20 active migrant shelters in the city. Seven were located in or in historically underserved south and west sides. Should I read more? Should I continue? I don't think there's much more that needs to be said. I did a video a couple weeks ago at an open forum at City Council in Chicago where the marriages pretty much ignored the citizens' request and opinions about the situation. But, um, that's the thing about the former president. He's one person that actually listened to the citizens and he probably didn't fully, fully, um, do what he said he would do, but he did a lot more than a lot of these politicians nowadays that just claim they're going to do something, do a full 180 once they get in the office, but he did a lot of the things that he promised coming into office, but, um, yeah, hopefully the citizens of Chicago learned a lesson about voting for color and party instead of people's actual policies. Daily output on Dre Day. I'll be coming back here shortly with another video. Until then, y'all have a good one.